Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm teaching you a really nice packet trick called Twisting the Leader by Larry Jennings. Of course, like all Twisting the Aces uh, routine, they're all based on the original, the classic Twisting the Aces by Di Vernon. Now this one uh, uses uh, different moves and it's a different approach and it's uh, very interesting. It sort of gets the spectator involved and I know you're going to love it, so let's get right into it. So here's something pretty cool you can do with the uh, cards here, all right? So I don't need the whole deck, I just need uh, a few cards. I like the aces here, all right? So what I'll do is uh, I'll turn the ace, I'll turn one ace face down, all right? So if I want to get all the other aces face down, just a little shake, and it happens, you can see all the cards are face down now. But if uh, if I just wanted one ace reverse, like maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe the, uh, the uh, ace of clubs there, I can get one ace to turn face up, all right? Maybe another little shake. And a snap, I can get uh, two aces to turn over, right? So maybe uh, one more snap, and I get uh, three aces uh, to turn face up. That's pretty cool. But uh, I'll show you one more thing. Maybe I'll do something a little bit different here. I'll take the ace of spades, put it in the middle of the deck, and inside the deck, I'll make it turn face up. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, I think I know something that would be a lot cooler than that. If I actually take the ace of spades out of the deck now and put it uh, face down where it used to be, right there that'd be pretty cool as well all right so here's how you do this trick all right so you have the aces on top of the deck or they can be scattered throughout the deck but the main thing you want to do is have the ace of spades on the face of the pack here all right so now when you go to take the aces off you actually steal a card under the aces under the face of aces face down all right so you just get a break under the top card doesn't matter what it is at all just get a break under that top card as you square everything up take everything up in middle grip stealing that uh, random face down card underneath the face up aces. All right, so once you've done that, let's set the deck down. Now, if you want to, you can just briefly show that these all are face up just by holding the last two cards as one, uh, just like that. But that's not necessary. Sometimes it can be overproving, all right? So they've just seen four face up aces. You don't have to show them again, all right? So you're like this. Now you say, look, I'll take the ace of spades, and if I turn it face down, I can make all the other cards turn face down as well with just a little shake. Now what's gonna happen is that you're gonna do a move called the two for two count by your brother John Hammond, all right? So it's a way to make all the cards, since there's two cards, two face down cards, there's a way to make them all look face down just by that two for two count. And all it really is, just keep in mind, is it's really simple to think about, that all you're doing is switching a single card and a block of cards around over and over. So you're basically cutting uh, the cards like this over and over, uh, cutting that block, cutting that single, <laughs> <laughs> just just like in a just in a circle over and over so technically what you're doing is doing a block pushover all right so it's very easy if you just take your two fingers here your index, your index in your middle and your thumb on top so you're sort of in that pinch grip position for the elms account you just pinch the packet and do a block pushover all right so that's sort of it just happens naturally all right so that's a block pushover which is everything uh those aces and above the random card all right so that block pushover is happening now what you're going to do is take this into your hand like it's like it's a single card all right so you're like this and just like you're doing a sort of a swing cut it's being grouped between your index there like basically your index and your thumb here you take it away like this all right so you're here like this take that uh, packet away like this and just put the single now on top like this all right, so you've done your block pushover like this in that position, and then put the single right back on top like this. Now just do that again, and what I mean by that is take the single off and then put the block on top, all right? So like, you put the block right back on top and then immediately do another block pushover. As soon as that gets on top, you do a block pushover immediately like this. So you can see how it's just being repeated. You're, you're just switching around the block and the single over and over. Well, actually, for a four count. So once again, you're here. That ace of spades turns face down. For that two for two count, it's one, two, three, four. Done at speed. It does look pretty good, all right? So now what you do is an Elmsley count. You say, look, if I wanted to make one card turn face up or one ace turn face up, I would just snap my fingers and it would happen. And at this point, you just do an Elmsley count, all right? So to show one ace that is face up. Just a standard Elms account. Now you just snap again. If I wanted to make two aces turn face up, I would snap again and then just do another Elms account, all right? So again, you have a standard Elms account like that to show two aces face up. 
Now here you're going to count the packet for the third ace running face up. It's kind of like an elbow count, but it's 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 really a genuine count with a block pushover. All right. So what I mean by that is you do a single, a single, and now you have three cards here. So you just do a block pushover of these top two cards to hide that face down card. All right. So single, single, block pushover, pin that pin that double down on those cards there, and then snap the last one off as a single to show three uh, face up aces. Once again, just for uh, reference, it's a single, single, pushover, double, single. So now at this point, they've just seen you magically turn three aces face up from a face down packet. Now to apparently take out the face down ace of spades, you're going to do an Escanio spread, all right? So the way you do that is you uh, take the packet and build a grip like this, and with your thumb, like you're going to sort of do with this, you just sort of spread that top ace over like this. And then with these uh, fingers underneath, just uh, take one card off like this with your index finger. Now take your middle finger and take another card off like this. And look at that. You have three face up aces with a face down card. And for all intents and purposes, that is the ace of spades. All right, so once again, you have the, uh, the Ascani like this. And then you're here and apparently remove, well, you need to remove it and put it on the table. And then they think that's the ace of spades, and you want to cut that, uh, cut the double uh, on top. All right, so you have the double on top of two uh, face-up aces. All right, so you can just put these on the table, or you can just keep holding them. And look, you can have them. If you have a spectator, you can say, "Hey, look, uh, cut about half the deck," and then you say, "Look, I'll put the ace of spades in the middle." and then have them place those on top. And then you can say, look, put your hand on top of the deck so I can't touch anything. And now I say, look, if, if I use these aces like a magic wand, I can actually make the aces spades turn over inside the deck, just like this, watch, just like this. And like, they'll see that happen there. And say, oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong trick. If the ace spades goes face up in here, pull that out and then reveal the ace spades. And now in your packet where it was just now underneath their hand. And that is the finale. Just a fun trick to do is, you know, it's impromptu. You can do it anytime, anywhere. And uh, people love that kind of thing, all right? So hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me. And if you got value out of it, if you learned something new, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button and sub to the channel because it helps me out more than you might think. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.